Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, this strange image is just to try and help you remember the different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. Red monsters invade Venus using X-ray goggles. If you can remember this, then it helps you to remember the order of the different parts of the spectrum. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma rays. So, let's see what that actually means. Now, what the electromagnetic spectrum actually is, is it's just these different waves that have a different frequency. So, um, at one end, remember red monsters, at one end we have radio waves. So these ones have the longest wavelength Remember, wavelength is just the distance between either two peaks or two troughs of a wave. And it, so it has the uh, longest wavelength. And it also has the lowest frequency. So frequency is how many waves pass the point in one second. And it's measured in hertz. So the further we go this way, because the waves are closer and closer together, we can see that they get a higher and higher frequency. So, let's remember, red monsters invade Venus using X-ray goggles. So what they stand for is radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma. So, at this end we have longest wavelength, so therefore our gamma, they have the shortest wavelength. Um, this is the lowest frequency, our gamma up here has the highest frequency. So all of these different waves are passing through our atmosphere, it can be used for different things. The only one that we can see is visible light. Now, visible light is split up into different sections as well. The longest wavelength in visible light is red. So we've got something to remember. Hopefully you learnt this at primary school, the colours in a rainbow. Richard of York gave, oh, gave battle. And I apologise, I haven't got a different pen for indigo and violet. Gave battle in vain. Red, orange, yellow, blue, uh, sorry, green, blue, indigo, violet. So this means red is the part of the visible light spectrum that has the longest wavelength. Violet is the part that has the shortest wavelength. So all of these different colours appear different due to their different wavelengths. Now this makes sense. If you can't remember which way round it goes, just remember that red goes next to infrared and violet goes next to ultraviolet because all that we're saying is if we go a little bit further that way a slightly longer wavelength we can no longer see it but that's where infrared is similarly if we have a slightly higher frequency than violet we can no longer see it but that wave is still there it's called ultraviolet so those are essentially the different, that's the basic overview of the electromagnetic spectrum based on wavelength and frequency. The different parts of the spectrum, including the different parts of the visible light spectrum. And this technique that should hopefully help you remember. Red monsters invade Venus using X-ray goggles. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, gamma. Thank you.